Regal Meagle, my favorite realtor. You got some hot properties to show me? You know it. Remember my list of must haves. Open kitchen, fireplace, exposed brick, and you know I wouldn't kick a skylight out of bed. I'm opening Pawnee's first authentic Sinatra style Italian restaurant, Tom's Bistro. I'm kind of like a skinny, handsome Indian Mario Batali who doesn't know how to cook. Before we go, I got you guys a little something for helping me out. <gasps> Love it. <gasps> a Larry Voodoo doll? Tom, that's so sweet, thanks. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't even do anything. The voodoo doll's reading my thoughts. So this was one of Eagleton's top sushi restaurants, but you can't outrun the whale meat police forever. This is great, I love it. Look at it, I can picture it now. That's where the politicians will sit. This is where the connected guys will bring their gumas. This place is perfect, how much? 9,000 a month. What? That's way more than I can afford. Whatever, it's not that great. Plus it's really far away from work and that'd be annoying. That's not a big deal. I mean, when it first launches, I'll go back and forth, but hopefully it takes off and it'll become a full-time job. Come on, I'll show you some places in your price range. So this is way under your budget. Used to be a donut shop. Well, a tire shop that sold donuts. It's pretty rough. I mean, I guess I could fix a roof and tear out the counter and do something about the smell. This place is creepy. I mean, I love it because it reminds me of a cafeteria and a haunted nursing home, but that's just me. This is the last listing I have that isn't an active crime scene. Hey man, what happened? I thought Jurassic Fork was super popular. We stretched ourselves too thin by expanding to a second location. You opened another dinosaur-themed restaurant? No, another Steven Spielberg-themed restaurant. The German place downtown, Schindler's Lunch. I think you may have misunderstood what people liked about Jurassic Fork. I actually think the space is pretty cool. I mean, obviously, we'd have to move this T-Rex, but... No can do. That's a load-bearing T-Rex. Is this really the last place you have available? Dang. Maybe Tom's Bistro wasn't meant to be. Tommy. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got excited about the restaurant, but I should probably call my investor and tell him we have a problem. Well, I got you something to cheer you up. Watch cologne. Cologne for watches. Thanks. Things used to make me so happy, but I've grown a lot in the last year. Now I just want one big thing, my own restaurant named after me. That makes so much money, I can buy anything I want. I should go. I didn't want Tom to leave, so I said all those bad things about the restaurants so he wouldn't like them. Damn, we should have coordinated. I don't want to lose that weird little elf either. That's why I showed him all those crappy places. Oh, I thought you were just bad at your job. Sorry. Well, what should we do? Let me call some people. Man, the places that came on the market today are way nicer than the listings we saw yesterday. I know, it's crazy, right? Real estate. And this property is under your budget, and it has everything on this wish list you gave me, except the two helipads. Does it have one helipad? I don't know. I like it, but it seems a little small. You know, I think it just seems small because of all the heavy furniture. But that bar's really great, and the lighting's really cool. I think this is the one. You know, I think you're right. I'll do it. Thanks, April. And hey, bonus, it's pretty close to City Hall. You guys can be regulars. I'll keep a table open for you. Mm -hmm.